Okay, hi, this is probability, um, our third week, week 15. This is probably one of the more complicated ones to understand reading the instructions, so you sure you want to watch this little video. Um, basically, they're going to be making um, six blueberry pancakes and assigning blueberries to the pancakes and then answering questions about the pancakes. So you got your whiteboard, you want each pair of kids, or to do this as a class, to draw six pancakes. And number the pancakes, one, two, three, four, five, six, so you know which pancake is which. Then you have, the instructions say, you have 20 blueberries, and those are going to end up in your six pancakes, because none are left in the bowl. And how you assign the blueberries to the pancakes is you basically... Each team or the class has a die, and you roll the dice, and you get a one, so you say, okay, the first blueberry goes in pancake one, and you draw it in there, or you tally it, I like to, okay, second one, pancake three, third blueberry goes in pancake three, fourth blueberry goes in pancake one, fifth blueberry goes in pancake four, Next one, pancake three, seventh blueberry, pancake one, pancake two, ninth pancake five, tenth pancake two, sixth, or that's no, not sixth, eleventh, twelfth pancake two, thirteenth pancake one, 14th, 14th, 3, 3, you can do this with tallies, it might be easier, but it's kind of fun to do this way. Okay, two more times, pancake 1 and pancake 6. Okay, so now I have my blueberries assigned to my pancakes. And I can ask my probability questions. So the first one it asks is, what's the probability that you would get a pancake with at least two blueberries? Well, in our pancakes here, we see that all of them have at least two um, blueberries. So the probability of us getting a pancake with two blueberries would be six out of six or one to one. Definitely 100% we would get a pancake with two blueberries. How about getting a pancake with three or more blueberries? Well, we can see that blue pancakes five and six do not have three blueberries. So the probability of us getting a pancake with at least three blueberries would be four out of six or two to three. Two-thirds of the time. So um, that's how... That goes, you can, if you do this in pairs, you can draw six blueberries on the big, your, um, on a big whiteboard and combine them, combine the results for all of the class and the blueberries, and then add them up and ask some of the same questions. So, um, that is week 15 of Probability Labs.